He's been leading the Pasadena City College for six months now, but PCC President Dr. Mark Lo Rocha has his sights set three years ahead. Rocha says he and school administrators are working to make PCC the leading community college in California by the year 2014 through their educational master plan called Project 90. CCN's Nikki Ibarra joins us live with more on this story. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Natalie. The purpose of the educational master plan is to guide the college's transformation to prepare their students for this global era. The plan is called Project 90 because in 2014, Pasadena City College will be celebrating its 90th anniversary. The college has a list of priorities ranging from student success to state-of-the-art technology that administrators hope to fulfill by 2014. Pasadena City College has launched a new educational master plan called Project 90. School officials conducted more than 25 campus and community town hall meetings to develop a list of goals they plan to achieve. With six months at the helm, new PCC president Dr. Mark Rocha says the ultimate goal is to make PCC the premier community college in California, just in time for the school's 90th anniversary in 2014. Specifically, the main goals are we want to increase the number of our transfers. You know, most of our students come to us because they want to transfer to four-year university, CSU and UC. So that's our number one goal. Then we want to increase the number of students who actually complete and get an associate degree. The third goal is we want to increase the number of students who get their work for what we call workforce certificates that is certificates uh, to prepare them for immediate employment. With 31,500 students, 70% of whom come from outside of Pasadena, many find it extremely difficult to get all the classes they want. So as part of Project 90, PCC is creating a pathway program that lets local high schoolers come to the college as a group, guaranteeing admission and the courses they choose. Dr. Rocha says Project 90 will also provide professional training for faculty to help underprepared students. It's not so much that we're going to be giving faculty you know, more classes, more students, and so on. But we're going to try and give them the uh, technology support and the training and the other professional development so that they'll be able to complete, get a higher completion rate for the students that they do have now. Rocha says Project 90 will provide each classroom with state-of-the-art technology to compete globally and allow those who can't be there in person to take every class online. We have so many students and only so many classes classrooms. And of course a lot of our students are adult students, are part-time students, are, uh, have families and so on, and find it difficult to get here uh, during the times that, you know, that we can schedule classes. So online classes by developing this kind of technological environment will be able to offer more online classes so that students will be able to fill out their schedule and students who normally couldn't get to class, couldn't, couldn't get to campus will be able to get their program. Dr. Rocha tells CCN the college has been raising and saving money over the years for this project. For Project 90's technology plan alone, they estimate the cost to be about $25 million. Thank you, Nikki, for that report. For more information on Project 90, visit Pasadena.edu. The CCN Tech Fight and a weekend of boxing in the San Gabriel Valley when we come back. You're watching CCN Crown City News. Your news, your neighborhood. Don't go away.